Okay, today I'm going to show you how to change the input module on an ITM 509. Uh, first thing we want to do is access the back panel. We're going to remove six screws one, two, three, four, five, and six. You will notice that the if you have this ground wire running, this screw will be longer than the others, so just make note of that. Okay. We'll need to remove all of the Phoenix terminal blocks, or at least anything with any wiring hooked up to it. With that removed, you can remove the panel. For the input modules, you need a slightly smaller screwdriver. Uh, that's why you see me using two here. Uh, here we see uh, the contact module uh, like you would have. I'm going to remove the terminal block so I can just comes right out. Have a little more access to the screws. So I removed two screws from the input module, found right, right back here. Once I've done that, I can just unplug the input card. Now I can put in the new input card. Slide in the uh, pin connections first. We'll just replace the two small screws. All right. Now we're going to replace the dust cover. Oh. I found the longer screw uh, out of the six. There was one longer one that helps hold this ground wire. I'm just going to put that in first. And be sure to reattach the ground. And place your Phoenix connectors. They just snap into place. And 
close up the unit.